Hello, I'm running Windows about 5 to 10% of my computer time, week in, week out. The other, I'm running some version of Linux, usually across multiple computers. And I thought I'd just outline some of the reasons why I don't like Windows 10. And uh, the top three are really the killers for me. The first one would be the update and upgrade policy. If I want to update uh, Manjaro, all I need to do is uh, go into the update program it'll tell me what I need to update and I can select and choose when I want to do it with Windows I can kinda of choose what time frame I want to do my updates in but once it starts the update process I'm shafted the machines gonna be tied up doing that update or upgrade and some of the updates take a long time the anniversary update was a very long time and I wanted to use the computer for actually getting work done so the fact that I can't control that precisely really, really irritates me. Whereas I'm in total control with Manjaro, really with any Linux system. And uh, if I do something that breaks the system, I can go back and uh, change my kernel so very easily just by accessing this program. and. Uh, double click on kernel and there we go I can see all the different kernels I'm running this one LTS 4.421-1 and I could even go to more advanced ones should I want to but I like my computer to work and run and be stable so I'm a little slower at adopting the newer kernels nothing wrong with that that's my choice not Manjaro's choice right so the update upgrade policy really uh, I find quite distasteful that Microsoft foists on its customers. The other reason is the power off button, believe it or not. When I uh, want to turn my computer off in Linux, I just touch the shutdown button and it shuts down. Uh, with Windows 10, you have to access, you either have to shut down by restarting or go in and disable fast boot and hope that you're not in an update upgrade uh, cycle. Otherwise, I won't be able to access any of your my files from the file manager in a Linux system. So here I can go right in there, and that's my Windows 10 hard drive. If it was Fastboot was enabled, I would only be able to access this in a read-only manner, and that really irritates me sometimes because I am swapping files back and forth. So I find that to be quite uh, painful. And the third reason is the heavy, heavy RAM usage that uh, Windows 10 puts down. I can't get my system to run below 1.8 gigabytes of RAM and as we proceed further and get more updates and more upgrades the RAM usage I think is only going to increase. Where I've got this Manjaro running and I'm using 800 megabytes of memory. I've got screen recorder going, a notes program going and, uh, and I'm using just I'm using well under one gigabyte. I like that a lot. I could choose a system and be even for much below that too. And my computer, even though it's five or six or seven years old, it's not out of date for what I want it to do. It's very good at, at streaming movies and, and videos or playing music, working on the word processor. For all the things that I need to use it for, it's very good, it's very fast, it's very capable. Why should my operating system bog it down and, and force me to spend more money on buying a new computer. About the only thing my computer isn't all that great at is it's not great at uh, energy conservation. So the older computers tend to use a lot more electricity. So those are the three main reasons why I don't like Windows 10. Some of the other reasons I don't like Windows 10 is I can't stand Cortana uh, and I try and disable as much of it as I can but then that impacts the search function in Windows 10. In Manjaro, now granted Manjaro doesn't have a great search function. I can go into the folders here, I can open up a particular folder, and the only way I can search here is by pressing Control F and typing in the bottom. And it's only going to search the active folder. But if I wanted to search this folder uh, more precisely, or, or several folders, you know, I have to go into Catfish. So that's a separate program. And I'm willing to do that. It'll come up either through there by typing catfish and going to file search or I can drop down here and if I access my search button it's gonna start catfish 
I don't find that nearly as painful as Cortana. The other reason I don't like Windows 10 is I don't like Edge. Eh, I never really gave it a fair chance, most likely. Uh, it seems to me it's very graphical based. If you use a touch screen, it's probably better than a, a desktop. But I prefer other browsers. And unfortunately, a lot of times when I do a search, Windows will automatically open up Edge rather than my other browser. I find that to be a pain. Another reason I don't like Windows is because of the add remove packages and how it's handled in Windows 10. Here I can just simply open up one centralized spot, search for programs. I can I have a choice in Manjaro, I have a choice of going into the Arch Users repository and I can find other programs. Now, I'd like to say that all Win all Linux programs are free, but that's not true if you buy games and they're certainly not free in terms of your time cost, your opportunity cost that takes you to install it and to use it. And also you can uh, give donations to programs you use and I, I encourage you to do that so that they keep getting improved all the time. But I really like the package manager in Linux and I like the fact that the updates and upgrades for all the programs are tied into my update manager for the Linux itself. Much better system. Security threats. There are security threats in the Linux world, but nothing like what they are in, in Windows. And there, and that ties in across several facets. of Some of my memories tied up in running virus scanners in a Windows 10 environment, and really in, in a Linux environment, all I'm really running is a firewall. And it's a very easy firewall to set up. Another reason I don't like Windows is it's very intrusive. I don't know who's getting what data and it kind of bothers me I, I always assume anything I do on the internets or on computers is almost always available for somebody to uh, see so I don't, I don't really think you're all, all that secure but you know it does kind of bother me with the amount of potential spyware that goes on in a Windows 10 environment I mean, just all you have to do is read the end user's agreement that you you sign off on with w Windows. I really, it really kind of bothers me. Another reason I dislike it is the lousy support I've gotten every time I've ever had to call Microsoft for help. Can't stand it. Here I can just access right to a forum, um, and everybody's helpful and friendly, and it's just a joy to, uh, to work with these people and also to provide help for them. So I can go to the wiki, the forum, the homepage, real easy. And oftentimes in Windows 10, it's the private individuals that are solving my problems. It's not Microsoft. And the final reason I don't like Windows 10 is because of the default programs. A lot of times if I do a search, it'll take me into Edge. And I don't want to open up Edge. I want to use Firefox, for example, or Google Chrome. I, I dislike that. Or sometimes it'll take you into the store. I dislike being forced to do things I don't want to do. So what applications do I like Windows 10 for? Well, right now for graphics, it does have a better graphics system. That may change with Vulkan. Games, there's definitely a better games playing machine Windows 10 is rather than Linux. So there's just way more programs that can play and, uh, and play to a better and higher degree, especially because of the uh, drivers. Uh, hardware recognition, hats off to Microsoft Windows 10. It's usually a lot better than a Linux system. And there's a larger installable program of software and legacy software out there. So I hope this kind of helped you choose or understand some of the reasons why I've gone Linux rather than Windows. And But for me, the three major ones, the update upgrade policy with Linux is just so much vastly superior than Windows. The heavy RAM usage that Windows 10 requires, and just when you turn the machine off, I want it to be off. I don't want it to be in some kind of strange hibernation mode. So, these are the three real killers for me. Thanks for watching.